<clears throat> Hi. I'm tired, so hopefully this video makes sense. So the topic of uh, today's video is uh, weaning off antidepressants. Uh, I have been trying to wean myself off of my antidepressants since Sunday, and it's not going well at all. Um, so basically, um, I started taking Lexapro about like a year and a half or a year and three-fourths ago, and after a few months I switched to um, Citalopram, the generic version of, of uh, Celexa, because the Lexapro wasn't, um, it didn't have a generic version yet, so it was really expensive, so I had to switch. And so I've, I took this for a long time for um, mostly anxiety and some depression. And um, for a long time, I've been feeling pretty healthy. Um, I haven't been avoiding school. I've been getting good grades. I haven't been having nearly as many panic attacks. Um, if I do have them, they're just limited symptom attacks. Um, you know, nothing like laying on the floor screaming like I used to do, uh, which if you have panic attacks, you know all about that. But um, so I was feeling really healthy and, you know, in a few years when I graduate from college, my parents are going to expect me to be self-sufficient and I'm going to have to start paying for my own medication and I have a lot of, a lot of other medications that I need to take. So I figured, you know, if I can eliminate one, you know, it'll cut down on the cost a little bit and I felt that I was really healthy, um, so I could stop taking it. So, um... I actually got this idea because over the weekend I stayed at my boyfriend's house and actually left my medication here at school and so I ended up missing two doses of uh, the citalopram and it was really weird because after missing the first dose I actually didn't have any side effects which is very strange for me because when I've missed before um, by the next afternoon I'm getting the brain zaps but I didn't get them at all the first day and then the second day they got really bad like, they, they came on kind of suddenly, and they got pretty bad, so I had to leave early so I could get back here and take the medicine. So that kind of triggered the thought, like, maybe I should start gradually cutting down and uh, see if this can work for me. So uh, when I got back, I took a dose to make up for the two doses that I had missed, and then that night, because I take my medicine at night, not in the morning, um... I took, I started taking, um, it was the first day of taking three quarters of a pill, and I'm taking 20 milligrams, so that's 15 milligrams instead of 20, um, and I took that for the next, let's see, I took it Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, so four days, and immediately the next day, and especially on Tuesday, I started noticing that I was getting really anxious again, um, it was just kind of, I wasn't really anxious about anything. It was just kind of the, the free floating anxiety that I experienced a lot um, before I started taking medication and when the medication was not up to its full strength yet in my system. Just kind of feeling just jittery and, and you know, my heart pounding and that kind of thing. And so I had to take a little bit of Clonopin just to, you know, not feel so shitty. <laughs> And, you know, that can happen with withdrawal. Um, it's hard to tell whether it is returning anxiety or withdrawal. I feel like it's probably withdrawal because I didn't, you know, I didn't cut down all that much. I only cut down by a fourth. And my anxiety shouldn't be, like, completely returning just from cutting down a fourth of medication, especially since the times when I've missed like a whole dose, I haven't really had any anxiety. So, um, I figured I would try to tough it out and wait for a few days and hopefully, you know, the withdrawal would, would start evening out and then once I got to that point, I could lower it again and go through some more withdrawal and then get used to that and then keep lowering it until I was finished. But on Wednesday, it got really, no, not on Wednesday, on Thursday, which was yesterday, it got really bad. Um, it, it got triggered because, um, I was supposed to be singing in two recitals, and, um, 
you know, singing solos and recitals is really nerve wracking for me. It really sets off my anxiety. Um, so the first one was just a student recital, which is, which was open to, um, anyone taking music lessons, you know, people playing instruments, people singing. So I was singing in that and even though I was on Klonopin and Propanolol while I was doing it, while I was practicing, I was fine. I was I was anxious about it, but while I was practicing, I felt pretty good. And then once I, when I actually did the performance, I guess my anxiety got the best of me or something, or maybe I had actually sung too much because um, I'm a first soprano and my song was like very high, so my, my voice might have gotten worn out a bit, but I didn't do as well as I wanted to do. I felt pretty bad about it, and so later in the afternoon, I was supposed to actually do it, the same song in my voice teacher's studio recital, just all the students that my voice teacher teaches, and I found that I couldn't do it. I, I felt extremely avoidant. I felt like emotionally I just couldn't handle doing it again, so I slept through it. And I felt like a piece of crap because I don't think my teacher was really expecting me to be there because I had already done the, the recital earlier in the day, but I had told her that I would. And I felt like I just couldn't do it. I couldn't handle the stress. So I avoided it, which is kind of the thing that I do um, when I'm really anxious and depressed. I just want to stay in my room and even though I have things I have to do, I can't make myself do them. I just don't go to things. Like, I, I used to be really bad about skipping class because I didn't feel well enough to go and be around other people and that kind of thing before I got on the medication. So, um, <clears throat> oh yeah, and even before that, on Wednesday, um, I woke up and the first thing I started thinking about was, can I afford to miss some class so I can just stay in? So... That was kind of a warning sign because when I'm on my full dose of medication, I don't have those thoughts. I feel fine enough to go to uh, to class and appointments and you know all the other things I have to do. And then later, yesterday, Thursday, I just started getting really depressed about the whole thing. And I was eating dinner with some friends who I don't know terribly well, but you know I know them well enough to, you know, hang out with them and have fun at lunch or at dinner. And, um, they all, they're all in a sign language club, so they all know sign language, and they started talking to each other in sign language, and I started feeling like it was on purpose because they didn't want me to know what they were saying, so I was getting pretty paranoid. And then after we were walking out of the building, they were heading off to somewhere else, and they started whispering to each other, and... You know, I felt pretty hurt by that, and I was really upset, which is something that when I'm mentally healthy, it would not it would bother me a little, but I'd be able to brush it off pretty well. But I felt really bad. I felt like they were talking about me behind my back, and they had things they didn't want me to hear, which is kind of crazy. I don't know why they would do that, but... So, I was pretty low yesterday, so I decided to take seven-eighths of the medicine instead of three-fourths, so I just added another, like, another eighth of a pill or whatever. Um, and I'm feeling a lot better today. I don't know if that's because of the medication or because it's Friday and it's the weekend, even though I usually have a lot of stuff to do during the weekend, but I get to spend time with my boyfriend and relax a little bit, so... I just don't know what to do about this whole thing. I don't know if it's just withdrawal anxiety or if it's my anxiety that has just been masked by the medication. Um, it's hard to deal with because, you know, my boyfriend said when I was talking about it, he said, well, you should probably just go back up to the, to the full dose of the medication and deal with your, like, avoidance behaviors and all that kind of thing. So, uh, you'll know how to deal with it when you come down from medication. The problem is, when I'm on the full dose of medication, I don't, I feel fine, so I don't have those behaviors. So there's nothing to work on. I feel totally normal. But then as soon as I have bumped it down a little bit, I'm like going crazy again, and I don't know what to do. 
So, um, if you have any experience with this, um, please let me know how it's gone for you. Um, if you think this is withdrawal or, you know, a return of my baseline anxiety level that the medication has masked. Um, I think I'm going to stick with the, the seven-eighths of the pill or whatever um, for a little while. And then try to bring it down again and see what happens. But if not, you know, I'm thinking I might have to stay on this medication, which sucks a lot. Because I want to be able to function without it. And it's also just an added expense, but... You know, maybe when when I'm independent and I can afford, like, going to therapy and getting a psychiatrist and all that, you know, I'll have some, some other ways to deal with the problems other than medication. But, I don't know, we'll see how it goes, so. That's all. Bye-bye. <laughs>